Alright, so a couple of days ago, I was trying to put a list together of like all the women I've ever been with. Like all the girls I've ever been with, all the women I've ever been with. You feel what I'm saying? And I realized that I couldn't stop on an exact number. Now, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm actually saying it to show you how sad that situation is. I couldn't, like, I'll get to a number and I'll be like, Damn, I think it might be like three more. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's people I've been with that I don't even like. I can't even remember them, bro. And that's sad. So then I'm like, all right. Why did you put yourself in that situation? Like, why why, why so many girls? And I really start breaking down, like, my life, bro. I'm not trying to get deep, but it might sound deep. And I realized that, like... <clears throat> My whole reason for going after so many girls was because I had some insecurities about myself. And this was growing up. I had, like, some insecurities about myself. And, like, me sleeping with these females or me coming at these females or whatever, it was, like, filling that void. You feel me? Now, nah, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm a great husband. I'm just talking about the past because... I'm a great husband. Don't get it twisted. So anyway, <clears throat> I was going to do a video on this and I was going to say that your girl, your daughters need to stay away from dudes like me growing up. <laughs> Real talk, right? And then today, I got a, a message on Instagram from one of my subscribers and he basically was like, Laz, I need your advice. As a father now... I know you don't have a daughter, you have a son. I've been subscribed to your channel for a long time now. To make things short, I have a 13-year-old daughter, and she thinks it's cool to have a boyfriend and disrespect her elders, her grandmother, etc. She thinks she's grown. Could you make a video on what would you do with a disrespectful child, even if it's a short video? Any advice is appreciated. I may not be the best father, but I'm a good father. Stay safe. So, you know, me, I'm about to get on my, my Montel Williams. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I asked him, I'm like, yo, besides having a boyfriend, what else is she doing? He said she's up all night on Instagram, lying to people. She thinks she does not have to ask permission to go places, calling adults lame and broke. Now, this is her family. I'm talking about she doesn't think she has to listen to any adult. She don't do that with me. But others like her uncle, grandmother, and other adults, I just don't want her to end up like her mother. I wasted seven years on her, went to jail and everything. And in the end, she my neighbor and got pregnant. I want better for my daughter. I see it heading down the same path. Now, I've tried talking to her in punishment, too. Would you send her away to boarding school? Our first thing, I wouldn't send her away anyway because... When you send somebody away, that means that you're basically showing them that you don't want to deal with them. So, I wouldn't send her away at all. You know what I'm saying? You just got to figure out a different way to deal with that problem. So, that out the way, I want to apologize to you on behalf of your wife, or on behalf of your girl, or your, or your baby mother, whatever she was, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's foul. She got pregnant by the neighbor. That is That is foul. I don't know how I would act or react if if my wife got pregnant by my neighbor. But at the same time, I do I do want to be honest with you. You know, when you go away and you're doing time, or if you're in the army, that's the risk you take. That's the risk you take, bro, because Jody out here. Jody is going to come in there and sleep in your cave. And when I say your cave, I mean... Your wife, your wife, your girlfriend, her box, Jody is going to make a home out of that. Whenever you go to jail, you, it's to be expected. She's going to cheat on you. So, you know, as far as your daughter's situation, though, the boyfriend situation kind of plays into what I was saying at the beginning of the video. You can't stop your daughter from doing what she's going to do, what she wants to do. Like, you're not going to be there 24-7. There's certain things she's going to have to learn for herself. But what you can do is you can plant a seed in her head to prevent her from taking it too far. 
I'm gonna explain to you this. From 13 to about 24, all dudes wanna do is fill up their stat sheets. Fill up their stat sheets. Yeah, she she have a boyfriend right now, but they're young as hell, so they're gonna break up. And you know what he's gonna do? He's probably not if she if she go if she go that extra mile with him. If she go that extra mile with him, bro, and they break up or whatever, oh yeah, he's telling all his friends and everybody in the school. Cause at that age, ain't nobody really getting pumps like that. So he's going to make her look bad by trying to make himself look good. And you have to explain that to her. You feel me? You have to, in a way, you have to teach her the game. I think what we all worried about is the same thing I'm worried about, too. As with having daughters, is that you don't want your daughter to end up like the chicks that you used to take advantage of when you was younger. That's for me. Like, all the chicks I was throwing out my insecurities on, I don't want to have a daughter... And she have to meet a dude like me or a couple dudes like me because it's a lot of us running around here and have to go through that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want my daughter to be a thought. I don't want my daughter to be like to grow up depending on some dude that's going to beat up on her. You feel me? So that's 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 some things that, that you know, you have to really worry about. But. What you can do is teach her the game. That's the whole boyfriend situation. Dealing with dudes, just teach her the game. Everything else, the disrespect, I feel as though like she's being rebellious about something. It's something that she's angry about, and she that's her way of taking it out on people. So you have to figure that out. You might... You know, depending on how much money you have, instead of um, instead of trying to send her to boarding school, what you could do is both of y'all go to therapy. Both of y'all go to a therapist. That way, you know, don't just send her to the therapist. Be there with her. Be there with her so she feels as though she's not alone. That might actually help that situation too. But definitely, definitely, bro, do not send her to boarding school, bro. That is the worst thing you can do. Somebody's somebody's doing, giving problems. Don't wash your hand out of them and, and try to send them away so somebody else can handle that problem. Because at the end of the day, that's your daughter. So whatever issue she's going through, you know what I'm saying, that's your problem too. You brought her into this world, man. So you have to guide her the right way. No matter how hard it is, you have to guide her the right way. Just don't give up on her. I, bro, let me tell you something, dog. <laughs> listen, listen. You hear? You listen. You hear him? Hold on. What's up, big guy? Come here. What's up, Playboy? I was giving advice. I was giving advice. When you thirteen, you think you gonna disrespect me? Hmm? You gonna try to disrespect me when you thirteen? You gonna disrespect your mother? Your auntie and uncles, you gonna you gonna disrespect them? You ain't gonna disrespect nobody. You know why? You know why? Cause by the time you seven, you gonna learn how to box, right? You gonna learn how to box by the time you seven. So as soon as you start feeling as though you feeling your nuts too much, I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm just look, 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 look at the camera. Look, we talking to the people. Now I'm gonna give you a chance to defend yourself. I'm not gonna be beating up on you at seven. Of course not. But I'm a I'ma tag you up. I'ma tag you up, right? And you gonna learn how to respect people. No 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 stop stop. Look, you gonna learn how to respect people. You gonna learn how to respect your the adults and all that. And we gonna make sure that you don't grow up like me with any type of insecurities and you ain't gonna be out here taking advantage of women. Cause you look you you pretty look, you you cute. Look at you, you cute. Look, 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 look. You handsome, you handsome. So they're going to be on you. They're going to be on you. But you have to use that power for good. Right? You're going to use that power for good. And, and I ain't even going to say it, but you're going to use that power for good. Clap it up. Sit. Clap it up. We're going to use that power for good. Right? 
boy don't care. He don't give a damn about what I'm talking about right now. I, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. You got it. But yeah, man. Um, I hope this video helped you out, my guy. Just so the the three things I said: teach her the game. You feel what I'm saying? Um, do not send her to boarding school. And if you can, if you can't afford it, bro, both of y'all go to therapy. You might feel as though you might not need it, but you never know, man. You might need it. She'll she'll definitely benefit from it, from it, and you might benefit from it too. All right, so that's the video. Say bye. Squat. Go ahead. Squat. Punk